This is Aurora Borealis, the six-part Ambie-nominated science fiction horror series from the Icebox Radio Theater, where nothing is as it seems, everything normal is suspect, and they are always watching. This is the world of Aurora Borealis. Here's a sneak peek. Let's go back. Let's go back to the moment you entered the house. Okay. The moment you crossed the threshold. What were you thinking? I don't know. You had to have been thinking something. I I don't know. Carrie, you lived next to that place your entire life. You are obsessed with the icebox strangler. You have no life beyond him. I work. They've threatened to fire you many times, but they're having a difficult time keeping staff. You are obsessed, and yet you never cross the ten feet of scrub grass and dirt to his door. Not before now. I told you it was locked. The hinges broke years ago. Most of the ground floor windows are broken, too. You could have walked into that house whenever you wished. Why now? I don't know. Carrie, you are a shut-in. You are a person with no life outside the stained and peeling walls of your own house. You have lived next door to the Icebox Strangler for twenty years. He has been safely locked up for seventeen of those years. No one is protecting his house. No one would care if you went inside. But for seventeen years, you didn't. Why did you... today? The wasps. What? I said... The wasps. What wasps? There are wasps. Paper wasps in Al's house. All right, what is that? I don't want to talk about this. I think we should. No. Carrie, we have to understand why you went into Al's house after all these years. Why? We have to understand. If these wasps had something to do with that, we have to understand. Why? Because our conversation cannot end until we understand. This interview cannot end until it is concluded, until there is a conclusion. We must reach the conclusion, Carrie. We must. My bedroom is upstairs. I can look out my window right across at the house. It's it's right there. The two houses, they're the same height, so my bedroom is lined up with a room in Al's house across the way. 20 feet in the air, but just 10 feet apart. That room, I think it's a bedroom. It has a broken window. Just inside the window, up on the ceiling, there's a wasp's nest. The wasps can fly in and out the broken window, but they're still protected from the rain. It's really smart, you know? They're really smart. What about the wasps, Carrie? They fly close sometimes. Does it bother you? Only in the summer. It's hot upstairs, and I have to keep my window open. Sometimes they land on the screen. Some of the wasps are really big. It's like a bird landing there. The screen rattles like someone hit it with a stone. Once I was just waking up, and I saw one hanging there, it took off, and for a second I thought it was inside the screen. I screamed, and and I screamed... I couldn't sleep the rest of the night. 